This is not going to go well. Coveted literature. My lord, my shaman, approaches me with urgency. A local merchant has a copy of the compendious book on calculation by completion and balancing, but refuses to sell it to me. If you can make him see the error of his way, I would be in your debt. You have gained a favor, Hook. Yep, it's Twitch. That's basically what it is, Winters. Like, even losing all of my lands, I think as long as I still have my people, my succession, my, my heirs, I can always potentially still marry in somewhere and begin rebuilding from nothing. Thank you, Twitch. To the perceptive High Chieftain Don Chad of the whatever, of course I shall join you in this war. Our foes shall learn to fear the men of Jorvik. Shame I don't have that other guy as an ally still. If you're losing a war, you may tip the scales in your favor by hiring mercenaries. Yeah, I don't think that's happening. Mercenaries cost gold, but will provide you with a significant army. Once employed, you will be able to control them like you would any other army. You might want to hire a unit of mercenaries for your current war. While you can go into debt hiring them, we recommend that you find an affordable one, unless you are losing the war badly. Navigate to the higher soldiers view and select any mercenary band. Uh, hire soldiers you where is that men at arms oh Band of Horsa, Cumbrian Band of Cumberland. You cannot go into debt greater than two years of your income. Well. Hmm. 
They're just about the cheapest I can find. Low County controlled in Argyle. Chieftain Bjorn was slain. Oh, we're actually doing really good, though. Victory! Marshal. Um... Commander and Champion, Steward and Champion, Chancellor and Champion. Bulky, I think you're up. No, actually, Chieftain. I still have to regain control over Kilmartin. It's occupied by the Kingdom of Alba at the moment. Sun learns language. Halfdan learned the Norse language through observation. Decision available. Invite champions. Uh, yes. Divin the stars. One of your counties has low control, which means you'll get reduced taxes and levies from it. However, there are ways to increase control again. There are many places you can see control, in the Domain tab, in the Realm view, in the Current Situation view, and in the County view. To increase control, you want to go to your Council view and assign your Marshal to the Increase Control in County task. Control also increases with time, but this process is very slow. We recommend you use a highly skilled Marshal instead. If you leave a county with low control for a long time, it may gain county corruption. To avoid this, we recommend that you do not conquer too much land in one go. Chief Bjorn the Mon was slain during the Battle of the Inner Hebrides. Your counselor Bjorn died. A feast will be held. An activity where rulers and courtiers in a realm gather to celebrate one thing or another. Participants will lose stress and increase their opinion of the host. There may also be a number of other consequences from bringing that many people together. A ruler will invite their liege and their vassals, along with various courtiers, to a feast. Oh, 
shoot. Do I have any more troops? You choose where you start. And uh, in this particular case, I went with a custom ruler, so I had more options than usual, and I created a custom person to start with. Divining the stars. I have spent many nights looking up at the night sky, tracking the movement of the celestial bodies. Over time, I noticed a pattern, and after days of analysis, I am now confident in my prediction. The signs are clear. It is time for a new beginnings and open minds. You gain open-minded for ten years. This character is actively trying to keep an open mind. Stewardship minus two, learning plus two. Learning perk available. Okay. Sanctioned loopholes. Is it love? I can scarce remember what my life was like before Freydis declared her love for me. I am flattered, but also overwhelmed by her attentions. I find myself longing for some peace and quiet. Yet, I cannot help but worry. Would I be throwing away my only prospect of true love? That cannot be right, can it? Freydis might become my soulmate. Freydis gains 30 opinion of you. Freydis will not become my soulmate. She gains 30 opinion of you. Freydis ends Freydis' scheme to romance you. What do you think, guys? One, two, or three. One? And you with a loyal wife who's already born you three children. I know, Anstara. One possible benefit is if she loves us enough, maybe she would renounce her marriage and get divorced, and then I could make her a concubine. One or three, all or nothing. Mm -hmm. Go for one more fun. All right, we'll go the route of chaos. The wild hunt. I am out riding when my horse suddenly throws itself off the path. The fall is unavoidable and knocks the air out of my lungs. When I look up, I find myself face to face with a wolf. Before I get a chance to scream, the beast collapses an arrow between its eyes. Don Chad, my, Don Chad, my sweetheart, I thought I had lost you. My hero is none other than Traitus. Oh! Freitas becomes your soulmate. You gain 10 opinion of Freitas. Courtship lays with you, ends Freitas' scheme to romance you. Found soulmate. Freitas and you found true love after Freitas rescued you from a wolf. Lathir gained the trait pregnant. The old wolf rescue never fails, I know, right? War declared. 
To the benevolent High Chieftain Don Chad of the Sudirar. Your false religion has kept your subjects in the darkness for too long. In the name of God, I shall bring the true faith to them and free them from your blasphemy. Holy war for the Earldom of Mon. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, if I, you know, had troops to rally, I guess. I know. The Christians are coming. for mercenaries. Daughter learns language. Dorstein's taught Saga the Norse language. Low county control in Argyle. To the benign High Chieftain Donchada of the whatever the heck that is, of course I shall join you in this war. Great, thank you. Jacob heeded my summons and has arrived at my court as a guest. Gained a stress level. Oh, good. Can't imagine why I'm stressed at the moment. Praise Mother Earth, Lathir has given birth to a perfect little daughter. Siege of Isle lost. Fortress captured in siege. My daughter Saga and my wife Saga were captured by King Kasatin of Alba during the Siege of Ile. Oh boy. Here they come back again. <laughs> Defeat. We lost the war led by Jarl Hafton Whitechurch of Jorvik against Petty King, what the heck of Mercia. 
Petty King book can, keeps the contested title. Your glory is widely known. Defeat. Bree once more. My driven acquaintance. She's my acquaintance. Saga has been released from her imprisonment at the hands of King Cossetin and is once again free. I have released your acquaintance from my prison to serve as my concubine. The foul fiend. Wow. This game is not so much a war game as a drama game. Holy crap. She's not considered my spouse anymore. Which means I could potentially marry that spy master. Uh, actually, that's a good... No, she's too young to be a concubine. She can't be Saga. No, she's still imprisoned. Imprisoned people can be forced to serve as concubines. Wow. Three hundred of three hundred characters. Let's see. You are not married. You have no spouse. You can convert to the attacker's faith. No, I'm not doing that. Uh, where's my court? Freitas. Let's take a look at Freitas. Oh, no, that's not going to work. She's already married. That's a shame. Your spy master and soulmate. And also, maybe you can assassinate. Oh, that's true. Let's see, imprisoned. Gains 180 stress critical because you are compassionate and honest. There's only a 5% chance. When the scheme is executed and secrecy is kept, you are not exposed to the crime of murder. Every month, there's a predicted chance of 10% to progress based on scheme power versus scheme resistance. Eight years. This is looking like maybe a bad idea. Agents predicted to join Queen Saga. But that doesn't mean that there's nothing we can do. We could offer him one of the kids as a ward.
gains 30 stress because you are paranoid. Will gain up to 15 opinion of you. He will accept. He will accept. That was Queen Saga of Alba. Wow. And you know, the kind of in the grand scheme of things, it's a really small thing, but uh, that kid that we've sent over to be their ward is my character's son, but it's not her daughter, or not her son. It looks like it, Anstara. Looks like it. Oh, he's already considering a proposal from me. I am inspecting the barracks infirmary when a severely injured soldier is brought in. Is he he is losing too much blood? Where is the physician? The healer is nowhere to be found. A chill runs down my spine. I might be this man's only hope. Suddenly, as if he stepped out of thin air, my steward Alfair is at my side. He rolls up his sleeves and looks at me. Possible outcomes, 100%. Alfir and I save the soldier. Alfir becomes your friend. You gain 50 learning lifestyle experience. Bothud Mac Rud Rudiri joins your court, and you get a strong hook on him. 0% chance. Despite our efforts, we lose him. Okay, so hand me the tourniquet. Made a friend. You and Alfir bonded after saving the life of an injured soldier together. Our patient screams and thrashes. Even though three grown men weigh him down, every step of the way is a battle. But Althea remains calm and eventually a quiet focus settles over us. I am not sure how we manage, but in the end it seems like the soldier will live. That was an impressive feat, Donchad, Althea says with a tired smile. It was an honor to serve at your side. I could not have done it without you. We are happy to accept your proposed education arrangement, a noble upbringing for a noble spirit. Low control in two counties. I'm not married, I know. Okay, let's see if we can find someone else to marry then. Uh, how old is he now? He's 29. I guess it doesn't matter. We still can't marry our spy master, huh? Can we kill off her husband? I don't think assassinating him would do us any better or more favors than assassinating the king would. I'm trying to make nice with the king so that maybe we can end the war. Alright, it looks like it's going to be Alfred. Children of this marriage will be born into House Domnail. Oh, she had been married. Uh, 
These are soulmate. It's true. But the game does specifically point out that they can't guarantee that you're going to marry for love. Alliance formed. Jarl Riker. To the implacable high chieftain Don Chad, I gladly accept your marriage proposal. You will be joined with my mother, Alfred, and in holy matrimony. Okay, excellent. Vassal in the Kingdom of Sweden. Covetuous Gambler. Now, I don't suppose... Of course I shall join you in this war. Our foes shall learn to fear the mend of Smaland. Everything seemed to be going so good. Then everything broke. Alliance expired. What? Dublin spared. Despite the settlement of Dublin yielding to his armies, Chieftain Zerbal has spared the inhabitants of Greater Dublin for their pillaging. Instead, he seems intent on acquiring his plunder from me. That fiend. Rude. This is probably going to end up being my only holding for a while. Lathir gained the trait pregnant. Maybe I should send these guys back over here. Yep. Batiza might join the Alpin claim on my lands as an enemy. Oh, great. Siege of Sky lost. Defeat. Albin Claim. Greetings, my implacable vassal. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. This war has gone on for too long, and I am glad to put an end to it. I accept your surrender. He's become your new le liege through right of conquest. You are now a mere Mormare. You can claim your liege's title. Differences in faith. In the Mormerdom of Argyll, Argyll, they believe in insularism and they do not pray to Mother Earth. Court Shaman condemns it as heresy, but the people ask for understanding. Religious understanding for 25 years. Yes, we will do that. You're, you control a majority of the counties that are de jure to one of your liege's titles. That means you can spend prestige to get an unpressed claim on it. Having an unpressed claim on a higher title tier gives you an opportunity to increase your rank. You can use it to start a claimant faction or simply declare war directly upon your liege for it. Loses 50 opinion of you. I don't have enough. Oh, I already have a claim on that title. Mental break. Imposter. 
Recently, I feel like I am not worthy of the more, more meritum of Inner Hebrides. Do other rulers doubt themselves as I doubt myself? I try to be a good, generous Mormare, but no matter how much I give away, there's always someone else with a begging bowl outside the walls. Others of my station do not seem to have these problems. Damn this universe for raising one so poor as me to such heights. Reach stress level one. Throw another feast, and another, and another. You are no longer as overwhelmed by stress. Rank gained. You are now a mighty chieftain. Greetings, my implacable vassal. I hereby grant you the... What? He... <laughs> he just fought a war to take it from me and he gave it back? <laughs> You know, honestly, this might work out in my favor. The difference is, I was independent, but now I'm subject to him. But now, as his subject, as his vassal, I can actually, like, we have a really good relationship, and I can call on his power to help defend me. Yeah, he did, Aranor, he did. He just wanted your wife. She was a pretty amazing wife. My power grows. You have been a loyal and devoted subject, and I wish to reward you for your service. In recognition of this, I am hereby offering you the position of Chancellor of Alba. So losing the war turned out to be a massive promotion? This game is amazing. <laughs> what the heck? Chicken wing, I'm doing surprisingly good. This is... I can't believe this game. Hang on, hang on. Uh, uh, where is... Pause, there. Look under administrator in stewardship. Where is that? Income, prestige, piety, renown, soldiers, lifestyle. Oh, the lifestyle thingy. End of war. The holy war has ended. You no longer control any land in the target region. Okay, good. Nominate successor. Election for the title heir. I guess I have to vote for my liege, huh? Oh, whoops. Become a cancerous infection in your king's realm, my liege. Make his turnips turn to ash and his mighty armies melt into a m smelly puddle. That is an excellent approach. I also didn't realize this game has mods. Must resist and try vanilla gameplay first. Oh no. How do I put out a search for a court physician? Available perks. Sanctioned loopholes. You can buy the use the buy claim. Okay, we'll do that. Decisions, right hand thing. Ah. Thank you. Invite claimants. Look at the perk I mentioned. Perks are in the lower left by your coat of arms. Oh. 
administrator in stewardship. Oh, right, right. Okay. Meritocracy. You can use the claim thrones. Oh, ho, 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 ho. damn, Aranor. Yes. After we have finished with Scholar, we will go with Administrator. That's amazing. Court Physician. This world is full of dangers, even to a high chieftain and his court. As per my request, my servants have inquired after recommendations. Now they have assembled a few options to choose from. Apparently, Wehrberg is quite experienced. I don't have enough... Oh, I do have enough money. Never mind. A co court physician also has a monthly salary. Wehrberg joins your court. You will appoint Wehrberg as your court physician. Wehrberg gains 30 opinion of you for five years. Bold Ravener, unmarried, Catholic, Anglo-Saxon. Adamar seems enthusiastic, if nothing else. Both of them failed to impress me. Now we're going with we Wehrberg, uh, I think. Stewardship, Marshal, Diplomacy, Unlanded. Patient, Greedy, Arrogant. Gray Eminence. As familiar with the nuances of diplomacy as the back of her hand, Wehrberg is a master of the art. Eagle revel eager reveler. Sampled the intoxicating life of carousing and debauchery is and is hungry for more. Renowned physician. Okay, so yes. Uh I, I like her. We're gonna go with her. It would be nice to actually have a decent physician for a change. Now we need a new marshal. Legendary Blade Master. I can't believe we lost a war and gained a lot of power as a result. That's... Ugh. This is actually really cool. Praise Mother Earth. Lathir has given, given birth to a perfect little daughter. What will you? Who will you become, my child, and what shall I call you? Itain. Actually, that's a really nice name. How many kids do we have now? Like seven. None of them from the current spouse. She's had three so far. Spymaster and soulmate, wow. I think we'll have her. Educate this new child. Yep, party dog. That's about right. Now, do we still have armies active somewhere? We should probably disband those.
Or I could have sent them over here, I guess. You could write novels about the political machinations. I said earlier... I'm taking a lot of mental notes. Because... A lot of this stuff can be done procedurally. I think a lot of it is being done procedurally. So it's a very good fit for the game design doc that I'm doing. Especially because it's not the active focus of play. A lot of it can just be set and done and happen around you to make the world feel more alive and weird. I don't have... Oh god, I'm so poor. We'll have to wait on that. Okay, so what the heck is my current Dookie tier realm? The land equivalent of title rank. The tier determines the position. Okay. A realm is all the land that a ruler controls either directly or through vassals in contrast to a domain, which is only the holdings personally owned by a ruler. I think I actually ended up gaining an extra title. This game is wild. Neighboring ruler won war. You can assign Marshall to increase control in county. Um, I should probably do that. Where's my Marshall? How do I do that? Far from home, a stranger is brought before me. He has been waiting outside the castle gates for a week, my liege, my guard informs me. The man bows deeply. My name is Walram, your highness. I have traveled far and wide and seen many things, but I am weary of the role. Road, if you allow me to stay, I will happily share my knowledge of the world with you and be your loyal servant. You get a weak hook favor on Walram. You gain 60 stress because you are paranoid. Walram becomes your courtier, gains 20 opinion of you, and converts to paganism. You get it, gain a strong hook on Walram. You gain 60 stress because you are paranoid. Walram becomes your courtier and gains 50 opinion of you. And Kualade loses 10 opinion of you. We have no likes, uh, room for the likes of you. I gain 120 stress by t sending him away? Wow. You know, I thought I had taken too many positive traits, but it turns out positive traits can really work against each other. You have gained a loyalty hook on Walram.
I'm kind of looking forward to starting another game of this just so that I can experiment with different combinations of traits. Seeing what kind of people you can play as and how they respond to different situations and what possibilities it opens up. This is pretty fantastic. One moment, please. We have a new lore seeker in the channel. Thanks what? for the follow. Thank you so much for the follow, Solitude102. I really appreciate that. Okay, we still don't really have money to do much of anything, I don't think. Everything's kind of expensive. I guess we can't borrow money from the leash, huh? At least I managed to get the income here at Ile and Sky up. Scholarship focus. We should be just about ready to uh, finish off the tree that we're on. There we go. Hostile scheme success chance plus 10%. Personal scheme success chance plus 10%. Development, growth, plus 15%. Philosophy, nature, and knowledge. Understanding the world is the only way to rule it. You gained the trait scholar. Now, can I choose a different one at this point? Focusing on wealth grants monthly income plus 10%. I could use that. Two point three. Okay, so that improved a little bit. I'll take it. Now, how are the kids doing? How's our aging doing? 31 years old, not bad. Oh, oh. Wehrberg, court physician, is available to be a concubine. Inheritable traits genius. <clears throat> Saga is still in jail. Offer to pay the ransom for an imprisoned vassal or courtier. There we go. I accept your ransom offer. Saga MacDomnail shall be returned to you forthwith. Okay. Fearless planner, unmarried, 13 years old, half Dan. He's 11. Intelligent, curious, sadistic. Oh, crap.
they just keep them prisoner until you pay them or something else. I mean, he did spontaneously release the other one and then married her or made her a concubine or whatever. Sadistic. Wow. Intrigue plus two, prowess plus four, natural dread plus 35, general opinion minus 10, can use hostile schemes against their own children. Few things bring Halfdan as much joy as the suffering of others. And this is... Wow. Analytic villain? Oh god, you're right. That's what it says. Weak hook. Ragnar McDonchad. Intelligent and pensive. Intelligent, charming, and forgiving. Hey, at least one of the kids turning out okay. Magnanimous planner. Intelligent, child of concubine, charming. You've got a Joffrey there. Yeah, oh, it's hard to forget Joffrey, believe me. Quick. Lathira catches on quick. And detain... Probably the only one that wasn't born especially intelligent so far. He was such an annoying cat, yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. Neighboring ruler... Oh, taking a concubine, right. We just did that. So we actually managed to come out of that war quite a bit ahead, because not only did we... We got all of our titles back just with the liege attached, but now we've got hooks into the higher rank... And our liege is, like, one of our kids is ward to the liege. So we've got all kinds of good connections going there. I think eventually we might be able to take over a good chunk of this. Um... Your court. Who? I don't remember which kid I sent over. Is it her? No. Ah. Okay, so it's her. Or him. Covetuous planner. Charming child of concubine, intelligent. I don't think I would call him typical Greeny. He was, I mean, he, he was definitely... Queen Saga, the truth speaker, wow. He was an ass, I won't argue that. But his position made him far more than just a typical ass.
He also does his own thing and has little regard for others. He's arrogant. He's gregarious. Amateurish plotter. He has had some education in the art of intrigue, but any real knowledge in the art has eluded him. Reckless. If there's an advantage to be had, Cosentin is sure to seize it. My champion. Will not accept. Person being generous, yes. You are not wrong. Whoop, okay. So, I don't think that's gonna work. Greetings, my benign vassal. My regrets that it has come to this. I know of your relationship with Freitas. If you wish for my silence, you will do as I say. Blackmail? You gained the tr My secret exposed. My liege king, Constantin, has revealed that I am seeing Freitas in secret. With the truth spreading like wildfire, our passion may not have been as hidden as we would like to believe. Wow. Who are they to judge? My wife Alfred's tears hurt far worse than harsh words ever could. I stand crestfallen as she wipes her cheeks with a handkerchief. I know I might not be the perfect wife, but I deserve better than this. We both do. I beg of you, come to your senses and leave that scullion. It is not too late to make things better. Okay, I have thoughts about this. I mean, we barely know her. We've been with, what's her name, far longer than her. I Yeah, I, that was supposed to be blackmail. I didn't even get the chance to accept or deny. I cannot deny my feelings for Freitas. Refuse to renounce lover. Your wife and high chiefess. What do you think we should do? One or two? Go the route of faithfulness or... Actually, I guess... Wow. Uh, I guess the question is, who are we being faithful to? Freitas or the person we married? One or two. You only married her. It's not like it's love, right? That's true, but we get some pretty harsh penalties here if we stay with Freitas. Our, well, okay, technically it's this one. All right. Fine. Gained a rival. Ivar Ivaring accused you of infidelity. Oh. 
that, oh my god, that's her wife. Or her, her husband, rather. Yikes. Spouse Ivar. Not bad. Minus 54. Ivar the Boneless Ivaring. Ambitious, callous, vengeful. Oh, good. Brilliant strategist, blade master, eagle reveler, aggressive attacker, flexible leader, biking raider, one-legged, and consumption. So, yeah, this is going to go well. <laughs> I told you you should have killed him. That can still be potentially arranged. Okay, the odds are a lot better on this one. 43%. 58% chance you are not exposed for the crime of murder. 16 months. Every month there's a predicted chance of 64% to progress based on scheme power versus scheme resistance. 180 stress, though. That's a lot of stress. But gain distress level. You've been overwhelmed by stress. Started a murder scheme against Ivar Ivaring. You gain 180 stress critical because you are compassionate and honest. You can lawfully imprison Freitas. We're not lawfully imprisoning Freitas. Just throw cats at your enemies. They'll either run screaming in terror or sit down to play with the floofs. Win-win either way. Mental break. I am unworthy. Highest stress level reached. I can't do this. I just can't do this. I can't be high chieftain one moment longer. How does anyone ever manage this seething mass of stress? No matter how much I give away, no matter how generous I am to my subjects, some always seem to be poor and always some and some always seem to hate me. It is clear that I will never be good enough to rule. Something has to give. Don't look at me. You gain the trait reclusive. You lose 104 stress. You gain sociophobic for 20 years. You spend 350 stuff. Uh, prestige. If you're still stressed in five years, you may suffer another mental break. Bring me a barrel of drink to bathe my sorrows. You gain tragic drunk for ten years. You lose one level of fame. Wow. That's it. I abdicate. You gain 60 stress. All claims against your titles become pressed. You are deposed. If you are still stressed in five years, you may suffer another mental break. Unless you have allergies like me, they then you just die. Oh, that's not fun, Greeny. Hey, JH, how's it going? What's uh, this? This character detests being looked at. Direct vassal opinion, minus 20. Courtier opinion, minus 20. Basically, we become a hermit. Don Chad often sequesters himself away and neglects his responsibilities. Drinking binge. This character has been hitting the bottle harder than usual. You gain tragic drunk for 10 years. This character fears the return of sobriety more than anything. Fertility minus 30%, health severe penalty, courtier opinion minus 20. So we get the minus 20 opinion no matter what happens by the looks of it. You gained the trait Reclusive. You are no longer as overwhelmed by stress. To the Serene Don Chad. <laughs> I call on you to honor our alliance and join me in the East Geetish claim on the chiefdom of Ndurgan. Okay, we can do that.
I have no idea where that is. We need to hope that guy dies. Maybe it'll de-stress us to get together with our soulmate again. Well, that's kind of what I'm aiming for. Kind of want to get the husband out of the way so that we can either marry or make her a concubine. One or the other. Either is better than what we've got going on now. Oh, way the heck over here? Good luck with that, guys. I don't think my guys are going to make it in time. Protecting against schemes. Watch your step. As a ruler, there are many who would scheme to see you dead. Try to make sure that your subjects have a high opinion of you, but most importantly, always keep your spy master loyal. You might not know they exist, but hostile schemes could target you at any time. Isn't the spy master the one we just broke up with? Having a spy master with a very low opinion of you can be a death sentence, and then there's no way for you to discover secret schemes. Wow, okay. Hang on. Oh, oh. She's no longer my spy master. <laughs> Deceitful. Intrigue plus four. Walram, your champion. Deceitful sounds like a trait that Invisigord would have. War declare on liege. King is... What's-his-face is being attacked by leader Uotro. lost their war with King Eriker. Yeah, it's not to elect the king, it's to decide who's next in the line of succession or something like that. I, I'm not sure of the exact nature of it, but yeah. That's a thing. While performing his duties as my spy master, Fothad has uncovered a secret held by my concubine, Wehrberg. My very own concubine has taken Edwine, Chancellor of Earl Regenwield of East Theeks, as a lover. The Outrage. My income has gone atrocious. Wow. Daughter learns language. Wait, why is she... Oh. She learned the Norse language through observe... She's still being... She's still being raised by Saga. That's amazing. <laughs>
Yeah, but it's different in different cultures, J.H. I guess in this culture, they have elections to determine something. I've had to vote in it a few times. See how the kids are doing. She's 14 years old, unmarried. Halfdan is 13. Curious, ambitious, forgiving, forgiving and sadistic. That's an interesting combination. Your liege won their war. Okay, good. Good job. Raiders from King Sigurder are in your territory. That's not my territory. Oh, High Chiefess is pregnant. We have our second wife is pregnant now. Drink of life. My agents have acquired a discreet powder which leaves no trace when dissolved in drink. The servants responsible for refilling and hand handling Ivar's cup have been bribed to look the other way and all that remains is my approval to smuggle the poison into his next refreshing drink. Forty-two percent chance of Ivar Ivaring is killed. In addition, forty-three percent chance the scheme is discovered. Ivar survived the poison! Unfortunately, one of Ivar's scholarly maids helped herself to a sip of the drink before serving her lord and a dead servant is apparently a deterrent. And if that wasn't bad enough, one of the other servants showed no hesitation in pointing me out as the culprit behind the attempt. The gall of his servants. Ends your scheme to murder Ivar Ivaring. You gain 12 dread. Gained watchful for two years. Lost a hundred of opinion of you. Attempted to murder me. Crime, rightful imprisonment. You gained 12 dread. All close family members and spouses of Ivar Ivaring lost 70 opinion of you for 20 years. Attempted to murder a family member. What is dread? Dread is a measure of how feared a ruler is. Rulers increase dread by performing cruel and heinous acts such as torturing and executing prisoners. Dread makes it viable to play as a tyrant because unruly vassals can become intimidated or terrified, making them too scared to oppose you. A character's dread can range from 0 to 100. Over time, their dread will tend towards their natural dread, which is defined by their personality traits. A dreadful ruler reaps the following benefits. Vassals are discouraged from joining factions. Vassals are discouraged from scheming. Increases vassal acceptance. Off increases offer vassalization acceptance. Makes electors more likely to vote as you do. And makes vassals unlikely to oppose law changes. Note that brave and bold vassals are less affected by dread. Wow. Lathir gained the trait pregnant. Oh my god, he's gonna have so many kids. I saunter between the market stalls of Ile, a heavy pouch tugging at my belt. How do I make this coin work for me? As I admire the wares of a local sculptor, pagan imagery, a sound investment, my wife, High Chiefess Elfrio, suddenly appears at my side. A word of advice, husband? Have a look at the smithy over there. Their wares might be simple, but their potential is great. Turn a quick profit with some clever trades. Nah, we'll invest in the smithy. My investment fails. You lose the money you invested. Oh, 
Where's your Death Star trebuchet? I don't know that we have trebuchets. Were they invented by this year? What year is it? It's 883. Despite our best efforts, my agents have yet to uncover any secrets here at court. However, I still believe there is something going on in the shadows. I only need a little more time to determine what it is. This feels so complex game, it's like real life. It's a pretty good game. I'm enjoying it a lot. There are trees here, Greeny. You just have to look a little closely. There's lots of them up here. Different types over this way. Alfred. Collect taxes effectiveness plus 25%. Plus 1.1, that will help. War declared on liege. Uh, it's an I, not an E. It is a female name. Despite our best efforts, my agents have yet to uncover any secrets here at court. I do not believe we will ever find anything either. There's less going on here than a graveyard at noon. Okay. Treating to Finn. Lathir has given birth to a perfect little daughter. So many kids, what the heck? Who's going to educate this one? Maybe her. Yeah, maybe him. It's probably fairly typical. It just seems like a lot to deal with. <laughs> Thirty-four. Okay. Oh, Saga's fifteen. Half Dan is fourteen.
Czech, Czech, Malabian, and Norse. She's eight years old and a gambler already? What the heck? Cynical and ambitious. Comely, but only two years old. You gotta not gambling. You don't gotta start gambling early. Wow. I think it's gotta be her. Oh, what? They are related, and there is a risk of their children being. You're kidding me. How are they related? That can't be right. Okay, not her then. Um, maybe one of the Czech ladies here. Cynical and ambitious makes me a little nervous, so maybe we'll go with Clara. Inheritable traits, comely and intelligent. Children of this marriage will be born into House Domnail. Chance of children's medium. They will accept. Okay. Saga comes of age. I am proud to see my daughter no longer as a child, but as an adult. For the longest time, I was hoping that good tutelage would be enough to teach Saga the intricities of administration. All efforts have come to naught, however. Few would be impressed by her understanding of the subject, but she has at least developed a sound grasp on the basics of management and the beginnings of a sensible frugality. They grow up fast. That means it's about time to get her married off, too. Okay. Another Czech gentleman. Count Spytomir of Boleslav. Children born of this marriage will be of Count Spytomir's dynasty. Hmm. I don't like that. Not lowborn. Any claim. He's quick, sadistic, ooh, arrogant, fickle, compassionate, arrogant, and trusting. This might be a good one. Children born of this marriage. Hmm.
It's kind of looking like it might be hard to marry her up without losing her. Of course, that might not necessarily be the worst thing either, because... We could get in good with the family and kind of absorb them in other ways. Well, I, we don't just get to decide that. Oh. Hey, this works. They'll be born into House Domnell. Okay. Okay. That could do it. Alliance formed. To the benevolent Dunchad, I gladly accept your betrothal proposition. Your son and heir, Halfden, will be betrothed to my sister, Clara. Chieftain Rolfer. Alliance formed. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. Your daughter Saga and my brother Rolug will be joined in holy matrimony. May they find strength and support in their union. Okay, so now I'm curious about what's going to happen there. Like, he's too young. And so is obviously... Yeah, okay, so th that's what happens. They're still too young. He's a little too young and she's way too young. So instead of actually getting married, they are now considered to be betrothed. A betrothal is a promise of future marriage that can be made when either party is not yet an adult. Betrothals can grant alliances just like marriages, but can easily be broken. Upon adulthood, the betrothal can be converted into a proper marriage. No, we attempted it on Sarah, but uh, he survived, and the servants in his palace outed us. So it was all for nothing, and everything went to crap. But we've got more kids already, and the eldest daughter, Saga, is now an adult, and I've started marrying off and betrothing the other kids, too. This game is incredible. I'm so glad I picked it up. So yeah, we've got two concubines now, and a lot of children, and potentially four people to help give us children at this point. So we've got our spouse, the first wife whom we aren't having any more kids with, uh, presumably, and then, um, you know, the two concubines as well. So things are getting a little bit crazy. Antiquarian. Unlocks the commission artifact decision. Enables you to repair artifacts. Revoked court? Oh, we don't want to do that. Okay. Oh, we could make Saga our Seneschal. That's interesting. And she has good aptitude for it. No. Okay, we revoke her. Yeah, okay, never mind. We still have soldiers abroad. We lost the war. Okay, so be it. Well, that sucks. Come on home, guys. We 
Where's my other army? Bastard born. There is no longer the slightest doubt in my mind. My lover Freitas has given birth to a son, and we both know that I am his father. Thankfully, Freitas has kept quiet about me, and no one else knows the truth, at least for now. Did I say four? I meant five potential mothers for my kids. The world will know of my child. You expose Freitas's disputed heritage secret. You learned of... Ingolder's birth. The mother Freitas gains the disputed heritage secret. Uh, so what happens if we... This character's ancestry is in doubt. She still loves us. Wow. You keep the secret to yourself. Okay, so... Bold planner, unmarried. Oh, he's being raised as this guy's son. Wow. Okay. Octogord, wow. You can designate a guardian for Lathir McDumnail. Stop making me want to play this now. Nope. Oh, crap. It's, it's almost 10 after 5 in the morning. I really want to keep playing, but I can't. I have to go. I, I didn't mean to. I meant to go a little bit over my time, not more than an hour over. Wow, this game is incredible. <laughs> yes, it is very late. Uh, I think we need to find somebody to go raid. Holy crap. We're going to play more of this. That's showing up on the docket again. This game is literally just... Not even Game of Thrones. Just call it Game of Drama. All right, folks, let me see who we've got live. Looks like Laxative Legacy is playing some Gears 5. Hodon Kane is playing Mass Effect 3. Bunny Tokyo is playing Martha is Dead. Mandy is back to playing The Last of Us Part 2 again. And that's about it. So I don't know what you guys are feeling. If you have a particular preference. Let me go over that again real quick. That was Lex Laxative Legacy with Gears 5. Hodon Kane with Mass Effect 3. Bunny Tokyo with Martha is Dead. And then if I remember correctly, we had quite a gap before we get to Mandy with The Last of Us Part 2. Uh, no problem, JH. No problem. We're not up to a kingdom yet. I think we're like a step above a baron, so somewhere around the duke level. But uh, we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. We just got to build up our power base and our connections and our 
legacy and eventually will be in a position to take a crown. All right, nobody is popping in with recommendations, so I'm kind of thinking it's been a little bit since we visited Lax. Like, we go visit him tonight. So I've got a little bit of an ad to sit through. It won't take too, too long. We'll see what's going on with Gears 5. I've never really seen a whole lot of the Gears series, honestly. I know it's really big and really popular, and people rave about it all the time, but it's one of those ones that's just kind of... I've been aware of it, but not really aware of what it's like. So we're going to go raid Laxative Legacy, a longtime good friend of the channel. You should all be following. I'm sure most of you already are. Let me have a look-see then. All right, folks. Here at the Library of Lore, we use the library raid you've been bookmarked uh, as our raid call. And that's with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the Tomb raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. Just copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So we're going to get over to Lax's channel. It looks like he is actively playing. He's not on a break or anything. Lax is a really good guy. I think if you enjoy my kind of chiller, quieter content, you're probably going to enjoy him quite a bit. So let's get over to his place and see how he's doing with uh, Gears 5. And I will be back tomorrow night. Tomorrow is going to be Retro Sunday, so we're going to be continuing our playthrough of Beneath a Steel Sky, which is a 1994 graphical adventure game. Along the same sort of lines as a point-and-click from, say, Sierra Online or the old LucasArts adventure games like Monkey Island and whatnot, but it's by a different company, and we played it last week for the first time, and it was hilarious and amazing and fun, so I'm really looking forward to getting back into that. So that will be tomorrow night around my usual start time of 11 p.m. or thereabouts. So let's get over to Lex's channel and see what he's up to. So thank you guys so much for an awesome first real exposure to Crusader Kings 3. I had a real blast with it. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it as well. We're going to see a lot more of this game, I think. Uh, so have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world, and I'll catch you again real soon. Bye for now. I like this so far. I like the ones that have the big, long ramps like this. Oh, no way. Oh, no. Examine this air. Oh, so uncivilized. No kidding. You said it, Obi Wan. That was a good chunk of damage. That's different. Ooh. Holy crap, what was that?